Okay, let's go to page 145, section 2.1. Let's look at number 36. 36, we have 5x plus 2y is equal to 10. Right now, they give us in standard form, okay? We want to put everything, we don't want standard form. We want to put, put everything into the slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form is y is equal to mx plus b. Now, b, b is the y-intercept, which is located on the y-axis. M right here is the slope of the line. Okay, so let's go back to our question. We want to put everything into the slope intercept form, so we just want y by itself. Therefore, we go move the x to the other side of the equation. So here we have 2y is equal to, every time you move a number to either side of the equation, you must switch the sign. 5x on the left is positive number. When you move to the right, it becomes negative number. So every time you move, you must switch the sign. Plus become minus, minus become plus. After that, we just want y by itself. So we divide everything by 2. So my y is equal to negative 5 over 2 plus 5. Then after that, we're going to find out b. b is the number after the x. I forgot my x. 5 minus negative 5 over 2x. Okay, b is the number after the x. So b is equal to 5. m is the number in front of the x. So it will be a negative 5 over 2. Okay, now... Again, B is on the y-intercept. Okay, it's the y-intercept, which is located on the y-axis. Now, for the slope, if the numerator is a positive number, you go up. If a negative number, you go down. Denominator always go to the right. Okay, now let's graph this. Okay, let's graph this. So here, okay, let's graph this. Always go to your B first. Okay, always go to your B first. B is on the Y axis. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, so 5 is over here. Okay, 5 is over here. That's my starting point. Okay, that's on the B, on, on the Y axis. Next, you go to your slope. Slope numerator is negative 5. So from that point, that's a starting point. You go down 5 space. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Denominator always go to the right. So go right 2. So 1, 2. So that's my ending point. After that, you're going to draw a line to connect the two points. Then that's the graph. Now, next, let's go to number 38. Number 38, here we have x minus 2y is equal to negative 4. Again, make sure we put everything into the slope in the side form. y equal to mx plus b. Okay, so here we're going to move the x to the other side of the equation. So we have negative 2y is equal to negative x minus 4. After that, we want y by itself, so divide everything by negative 2. So my y is equal to negative, negative, become positive number. So it'll be 1 half x plus 2. The next, after that, we're going to find out b. b is the number after the x will be a 2. Then slope m is the number in front of the x will be 1 half. Then after that, we are going to graph. So here, let's graph. Okay, so always go to your B first, okay? B always on the Y axis. So B is equal to 2. So that's 2. That's my starting point. Now my slope for the numerator, okay? Numerator is positive 1. So from that, I go up 1 spacing. Denominator always go to the right. So go right 2. So go right 2. So that's my ending point. After that, draw a line to connect the two points. Next, let's look again. Number 40. Number 40, we have 3x minus 7y is equal to 9. Okay, let's put into the slope in the side form. y is equal to mx plus b. Now let's move the x to the other side. 
So here we have negative 7y equal to negative 3x plus 9. Divide everything by negative 7. So my y is equal to 3 over 7x minus 9 over 7. And after that, let's find out b. b is the number after the x, so equal to negative 9 over 7. n is the number in front of the x, will be 3 over 7. Now for b, if you have improper fraction like this, if you very hard to locate, you divide into decimal or change to mixed number. If we change to mixed number, it will be negative 1, 2 over 7. This will be easy for us to locate, to, to graph, to draw the line. Okay, so here... Let's see, let's draw this, my x and y. Okay, my x and y. So let's go to, your, go to my b first, negative one and two over seven. You estimate, so negative one, two, seven. So somewhere, somewhere over here. So that's my starting point. After that, you go to your numerator. The, uh, for the slope, numerator is positive three. So you estimate, it goes up three space. One, two, three. Denominator, I always go to the right, so go right 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's my ending point. After that, just draw a line to connect the two points. So that's the graph. Next, let's look at number, number 44. Okay, number 44. Number 44 here, we have y is equal to negative 3. Okay, so y equal to negative 3 is very easy. If you only have y or you have only x for this, you don't need to put into the slope in the side form. You can just go ahead and graph. Okay, so here my y is equal to negative 3. So you go to your y axis. Negative 3 is here. 1, 2, 3. So negative 3 here. You see the line is going to left and right. So you draw your line left and right. Okay, now let's look at number 46. Number 46, I have x is equal to negative 3. So here, again, if I, only, if I only have one variable equal to a number, I can go ahead and graph. Okay, so here is my x and y. Negative 3, okay, x equal to ne negative 3. So here will be 1, 2, 3. So that's my, my point over there. This line go up and down, so you draw your line up and down. See, that's, the, that's your graph. Okay. Now let's go to number 50. Number 50. Number 50 here. We have y minus 5 is equal to 0. So only one variable. Okay, so we're going to solve for y. Okay, so plus 5, plus 5. So y is equal to 5. So this one is kind of like previous questions. Okay, previous questions. So all you need to do, you grab because you have only one variable. It tell you y equal to 5. So here my 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's over here. So you just extend your line left and right, and that's your graph. Now let's go to number 54. Number 54. 54 here, we have 4y is equal to 3x. Now, you have, when you have both x and y, okay, you need to put into the slope intercept form like this, okay? So here you see, we just want y by itself, so we don't want the x, uh, we, we don't want the 4, we just want y, we don't want the 4, so we divide everything by 4, so my y is equal to 3 over 4x. After that, we're going to find out b, b is the number after the x, there's no number, so b equal to 0. The next, n is the number in front of the x, will be 3 over 4. Now let's graph this. So let's graph this. Okay, so my b, b equal to zero, right? b equal to zero, which is at the center. Okay, it's at the center over here. b equal to zero at the center. So from here, I go up three space because part is three. One, two, three. Then after that, denominator always go to the right. So go right four. So that's my ending point. After that, we're going to draw a line to connect the two points. Now let's look at number 56. Number 56, here we have negative 3 over 4y is equal to x. Again, put everything into the slope intercept form, y equal to mx plus b. So we just want y. Over here, you have negative 3 over 4y. 
Okay, step one, if you have fraction, let's get rid of my denominator. My denominator is four, so I go multiply four to both sides of the equation. So here you see, I can cancel my denominator, no more fraction. So I have negative three y is equal to four x. After that, divide everything by negative three, so my y equal to negative four over three x. I always give the negative to the numerator, okay? I always give negative to the top. So here, again, let's find out B. B is the number after the x, so be zero. Then N is the number in front of the x, so be negative four over three. Now, let's graph this. Let's draw my x and y. Okay, so B equal to zero. Zero is right at the center. The negative four, I go down four space, one, two, three, four. Denominator will go to the right, so go right three. So that's my ending point. After that, we draw a line to connect the two points. Then that's my graph. Okay. Now let's look at number. Let's look at number 66. Okay, number 66. Number 66 here. They're giving us two points. We have 5, 2, and negative 1, 8. Here, they want us to find out, they want us to find out the midpoint of the two line, uh, of the two point, the midpoint, okay, of the two points. The midpoint, the midpoint, the midpoint represents as a upper, upper case of n, okay, the formula will be x1 plus x2 over 2, y1 plus y2 over 2. Then here's my x1, y1, x2, y2, always in this order, okay? They never change. Then after that, let's plug into the formula. My x1 is 5 plus my x2 is negative 1 over 2. My y1 is 2. My y2 is a, so 2 plus a over 2. So this equal to 4 over 2, then 10 over 2. Fraction, if you can reduce or simplify, you must reduce and simplify. So this will be 2, 5. So that's my midpoint. Okay, now let's look at number 70. Number 70 here, we have 4, negative 3, and negative 1, 3. Still going to find out the midpoint. The midpoint, the formula will be x1 plus x2 over 2, y1 plus y2 over 2. So this is my x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay, let's plug into the formula. So my x1 is 4 plus minus 1 over 2. My y1 is negative 3 plus my y2 is 3 over 2. So here I have 3 over 2. Here I have 0 over 2. 3 over 2, just leave as improper fraction like this. It's okay, but you have when you have 0 over 2, you must write down zero. Do not leave as zero over two, okay? Must write down as zero. 